Oh, to be a social media giant on the cusp of a public offering. Last year it was Facebook with an admittedly rocky start. Well, today it was Twitter. The company with its 230 million followers has never actually made a profit. But who cares? As soon as the social media site began trading its shares at $26 a pop, the price soared by almost 75%. The company, which is only seven years old, is now valued at $24 billion. But can it sustain the hype? Our business correspondent Siobhan Kennedy has this report. It was the most anticipated opening bell on Wall Street in years. Traders huddled together, waiting anxiously for the first ding. And boy, were they rewarded. Don't go away. Seconds after the New York Stock Exchange opened, the share price nearly doubled. Twitter opens at $45.10. Valuing the darling of social media at $31 billion. Not bad for a company still to turn a profit. So, the little blue bird got off to a flying start. No one really doubted Twitter's debut would be a success. It had been the most hotly anticipated flotation in years. But now the little bird's finally flown the nest. The question is, where does it go from here? People ask the same question of Facebook. Its shares famously tumbled when they started trading, but the company is now making money from advertising. The problem for Twitter is it's a very different format. It's much more personal and we use it in real time. And there's a possibility that if we suddenly have advertising all over the place, it's going to change the nature of the experience so much that we don't want to do it anymore. And at that point, the question becomes, if we don't like it, can we leave? Or is it like a utility which we need now? And in fact, history is littered with other companies like Bebo and MySpace, which we did just abandon en masse when something better came on. <laughs> But there's certainly no doubting its influence. Celebrities, politicians, the Pope even, flock to it. And since the first tweet in 2006, it's become the global hub for news and views. There's no limit to its reach. Hello from Niger. Thank you for helping us reach 2 million Twitter followers. But how do you bottle that and turn it into a proper business? How can Twitter make money out of 140 characters? If you take a typical Twitter feed today, it could target ads according to individuals' interests, if you like bikes, for example, or offer a pay-to-message service if the person you want to tweet doesn't follow you, or add company-sponsored pictures and video clips to boost its existing Vine video service. But no one was worried about the future today, least of all Twitter's founders, Jack Dorsey, Evan Williams and Biz Stone. They were wallowing in the present, all $31 billion of it. The at Twitter hashtag was trending as users took to the Twittersphere in adoration. Twitter gives me heart palpitations, said one, while Time magazine noted Twitter's IPO will make these men very, very rich. And another summed up what the rest of us were feeling. Regret not buying any Twitter IPO this morning. Ugh. <laughs> well, our reporter Inigo Gilmo is at the New York Stock Exchange. So, Inigo, did you buy any shares? You feeling good about yourself? There's been a huge excitement here uh, today. Uh, earlier on, it was suggested that Katy Perry or possibly even Lady Gaga herself may come to do the stock, uh, stock market launch for Twitter. In the end, it was left to Patrick Stewart of Star Trek fame, perhaps appropriately because Twitter want to show they can boldly go where no one's gone before. Uh, the people I've spoken to here are really chuffed by the way the stock market launch uh, went. Uh, I spoke to a trader earlier who said he was contacted by a major player at an American bank who said congratulations, it went really well compared to the Facebook launch when the bank had lost millions last year. So a lot of happiness here on the trading floor. Uh, one of the unique things about today is the entire event was carried live on American television from start to finish. And people here feel that, that it will allow, give Americans a chance to re-engage with the stock market after a number of people were burnt in 2008. And if the share price is anything to go by, they might be onto something. As I speak, the share price is now standing at 47.1, having started the day at $26. So the company now is valued at over $30 billion an extraordinary amount. It's put it on a par with franchises like Pizza Hut, which has 40,000 restaurants around the world. So the founders of Twitter must be pretty happy tonight, uh, considering that the company has never, ever made a profit. 
Inigo, thank you very much. You didn't really answer my question, but you explained the context beautifully.